we got a whole month of help coming up on Tech TV. Yeah. Nice. But we do help every day. And if you're like me, you probably never use a floppy disk anymore. They can't hold enough information. They're too slow. But if you want to transfer megabytes from one machine to another, what do you do, Hotshot? What do you do? You, you talk to Robert Heron because uh, he's got a solution. Heck yeah. Yeah. USB flash storage. It's a coming of age, you could say, really. The prices are coming down. They're about half of what we looked at last time we took a look at these products. And the storage is increasing, which is something really nice. Yeah, it's uh, up to a gigabyte. In store. And they're quickly going to surpass that, too. Gig is just starting to come out onto the market. Right now, the typical size you're looking at are anywhere from 8 megs up to about 256 or 512. Yeah, and, and decent prices, average? The prices, like I said, were coming down uh, before. We're looking at 128 megs of storage and flash USB device for about $60 to $100, depending on the interface, be it USB 1 or 2. And that's one of the main differences you'll find between these products is what USB standard are they supporting directly on the hardware. Yeah, and of course, 2.0 being much faster. Definitely. Literally... Far more, yeah, of course. And the nice thing is, is that, of course, with USB 2, you can plug any of these devices into that port, whether it's a USB 1 product or not. It's all backward compatible. Now, speaking of compatibility, what, what about OS support? That's the big kicker. Uh, you want to make system. sure that you have a relatively new OS, something like if you have 98, you're going to need a driver for it. If you have 98 SE or beyond, you won't need a driver, except for Windows NT, which that requires its own driver as well. Yeah. But once the driver's installed, it acts just like any other operating system. You plug it in, remove it and it basically pops up a drive letter that looks like a hard drive sitting on your computer with the amount of storage that you have it rated for. And of course, like, this, well, let's start out by this one. This is 128 megabytes. That one actually is 512 Whoa, megabytes. Whoa, it yeah, is? Yeah, that's a USB 1 device. It's from M-Systems. That's their disk on key classic. That's the, the old standby. The main difference with that, and you'll see among others, is that this one actually includes a RISC processor. There's a 32-bit CPU inside of that device. Why? That is for a lot of things. One, they're thinking of later on, they'll include things like applications, like an email client, have it on there, being able just to plug it in directly, it would launch the email client, run the application off the chip itself, oh, and when you pull nice. it out, yeah. everything goes with it, including, it basically leaves no residue on the computer itself. Perfect. That's one idea they're working on. Also security issues. Too. 512 megabytes. Let's do some quick math. How many floppies is that? That's, uh, That's about 400 some about odd? About 350, about okay. 355, which yeah. is... Staggering. Much Staggering smaller. And, and the great thing is these things, as I said before at the beginning of the show, solid state, no moving parts in these things. That's the beauty. And typically once you move up to 128 megs or larger, the price starts to drop significantly. Oh, of course. That lower, the smaller ones, you're paying more for the plastic and the, uh, the interface. So than this, this one, storage 512, how much does this cost? 512, that is roughly uh, $250. That's so it's about 50 cents. At okay. 50 cents a meg, that's a really good price point right now so for any of them. what would be the difference between this one and, let's say, this one? Just, Just a new just form factor. That's the new Disk on Key uh, Pro model. Okay. And that's been out for a little bit now. It's, it's really just a different form. It, it looks a little more stylish. Some people don't like. I think it, it, I think it fits in your pocket a little easier. It's definitely thinner and smaller than the classic mode. You know, and, it's, and it's pricing, it's about exactly the same, whether it's 128 meg or whatever. Okay, so you're not going to find a difference in pricing uh, as long as you're staying within the same uh, capacity. Exactly. Okay. Except for if you go to a different interface, like this happens to be their 32 meg USB 2 version, which is just coming out. This one's only 32 megs right now, but they're going to, of course, bump that up as well. And you get the speed increase with that. Okay, so moving along yeah. here relatively quickly, uh, what do we have? One company that has a USB 2 drive you can buy right now is Trek, and they've been making the thumb drive. And when you say thumb drive, this is really Trek's name. The rest of these I call USB flash storage. So it's kind of like we call Kleenex, uh, right. or tissue or paper Xerox Kleenex. Xerox for yeah. photocopying. And or TiVo. Exactly. Okay. Tre uh, the Trek thumb drive has been out for a while. Great product. It's one of the few USB 2 products you can buy right now, and it gives you the speed. Simple to use. No CPUs. How much? Cash-wise, for the USB 2 version, you're paying a little bit more. It right now is about 100 bucks, which works out to about 70 cents a meg. It's not, it's not too bad. USB 2.0, really. it's, it's faster. Best value out there right now is from a company called Transcend, and they make the Jet Flash. This is just for a value. I mean, there, it doesn't have a built-in risk processor. It's just storage, but it works. It's got a right protect switch on the side. You can see right there. It's just a little switch that goes up and down. Like on a floppy. 128 megs. That'll run you about $63, $62, hmm. and it works out to under 50 cents a yeah, minute. For transferring MP3s without burning them to a disk, I mean, it's oh, plug and anything. play. You're done. Files, that's like, great. I work with a lot of Word documents and things like that, too, and that's just nice to have storage like this that. This one's kind of neat. This, this is a SanDisk model. I mean, it's got a retractable... Uh, a connector. I like that, especially if you're going to be putting them in your pocket. Sometimes all of these have caps that go on top, and they're easy to lose. There's 
really nothing to lose except, of course, the memory card, which yeah. it's stuck in there pretty good. But so. the nice thing about this is, is you can upgrade to whatever the highest capacity memory exactly. card that it'll support. This looks like uh, secure digital or SD. And in general, this gives you good value, too, for the amount of storage you get. It's very competitive with even the lowest pricing. It's right around 50 cents a meg, or All a little right. bit less, actually. Cool. So uh, your recommendation? Go inexpensive right now. Don't worry so much about the USB interface. It's nice to have 2.0, especially as we get into larger products, mm -hmm. like 5, 12 megs or larger, or if you're moving a lot of files all the time, think about a USB 2 device. The CPU systems or the risk processors within the M systems, the Skunky products, it's nice and they're promising, we'll see if it turns out or not, but they're promising to double the speed here pretty soon. Nice. Just by using the optimizations with the chip itself. If it has the CPU on there. We'll see. Thank you, Robert. Good stuff. And, of course, if you want to know more about any of these products and a few more, you can uh, visit our website, techtv.com slash call for help. Coming up next, by the pricking of my thumb, something wicked this way comes, and that something is the lightning round. And still ahead, what's better than a great movie? A great movie on a DVD. We'll find out which discs are hot and which are not when Call for Help continues. <laughs>